You're watching Gold Rush and a Rush, and we're recapping the Season 10 episode, The Nugget Hunter. So what happened? Rick's dad flies in and lands his plane on a runway Rick just built. Is there swearing? Oh yes. Is there crashing? No. They plan to fly over the mountains to look for good gold. This makes sense. Seriously, why use drill maps when random guessing is just as good? They then wander on foot four miles up the claim to discover some old cabin. In the ruins, they find an old gold pan. Good gold confirmed? They bring in an excavator to dig a random hole. A test pan finds this incredible discovery. In Rick's defense, he says he's going to bring in professionals for real testing. But then that means all of this really just amounted to nothing. This also marks the end of Rick's three-week wash plant rental. But there's no mention of that. Will that be next week's drama? Monica is at a new random claim they had the entire time. And it's all virgin ground. Well, except for all the parts completely dredged out decades ago. Huh? Time for some drill holes. That's a waste of time. It would be way faster just to fly over the area in an airplane. The test samples find specks of gold. Wow, looks like this claim could be really special. I actually hate myself for that joke. Out of nowhere, Mike brings in a cleanup and finds 246.08 ounces. Happiness abounds. Parker promotes Parker as Parker's new foreman, and then shows up late for work on his first day. I hope Parker doesn't find out. Instead of doing foreman things, he wanders randomly about the claim. The wash plant gets backed up because there's no water, because Parker never added fuel to the water pump like he said he would. Parker gets furious at Parker and makes Parker dig out the wash plant. It's hard to choose sides, but I'm leaning toward Parker. He needs a new foreman. But will it be Brennan or Mitch? He chooses both. Though both seem well aware that being promoted to foreman is the quickest way to get fired. A cleanup finds 185.15 ounces. And we're out. Tune in next time when Tony Beats repurposes his dredge to hollow out pumpkins in time for Halloween. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm so glad it was a one hour episode. You can leave a comment below, like, subscribe, visit us on Facebook. Uh, whatever you feel like. Happy Halloween, everyone. See you next week.